Hey everyone, how are you all doing today? So, we know that in Episode 3 of Run to the Sith, Anakin turned to the dark side mainly because Padme was going to die in childbirth, or at least his visions so told him. The knowledge of her pregnancy was common to most that knew her, and those who knew that Anakin was the father, specifically Yoda, Obi-Wan, and Bail Organa, knew that Luke and Leia would be exceptionally strong in the Force, and would threaten the Emperor as long as they lived. So when Padme died after giving childbirth, Yoda, Obi-Wan, and Senator Organa hid the fact that she had given birth by making Padme still look pregnant during her funeral, so that neither the Emperor nor Vader would know that the babies had even been born. They did this so that the Emperor and Vader would never really have a reason to go looking for them, since if they weren't alive, there would be nothing to find. However, the question that remains is why was Leia's last name changed, but Luke's wasn't? If you want to hide a kid from the Empire, don't send him to his only family, that not only Vader knows, but also knows where they live, and not change his last name from Skywalker. Now we could say that George Lucas was making it all up as he went along, or that Luke Lars didn't have quite the same ring to it as Luke Skywalker. But there's another reason revealed in canon comics. We know Leia was adopted on Alderaan, and her last name was changed to Organa. Her father, Bale, was a senator from Alderaan with a high public profile, and is someone the Empire didn't really care for, considering Bale's opposition to the Emperor. Leia Skywalker would probably attract some attention, so that name had to go. Luke, on the other hand, was sent to his aunt and uncle on Tatooine, Owen and Beru Lars, who, if you remember, were Anakin's stepbrother and stepsister in law after Shmi married Owen's father in Attack of the Clones, Kleeg Lars. Now, they were really no one in the grand scheme of things. However, Obi Wan took baby Luke to them, to Tatooine, so that he'd not only be with his family, but so that Obi Wan could also indirectly protect him, always watch over him, and then train him in the ways of the Force when the time came. But there was just one tiny problem. Owen wanted nothing to do with Obi-Wan. He felt that Obi-Wan brought nothing but trouble to Lars and Skywalker families alike, and that Obi-Wan needed to stay away very far away. He blamed Obi-Wan and the Jedi for killing Anakin since if Anakin were never taken from Tatooine, then he never would have become a Jedi and died in the Jedi Temple. Or, you know, so many believed. And that is the reason that Luke's last name was never changed. Owen didn't know that Anakin was Darth Vader. Now, I must say that everything up to this point has been canon, but this little part is Legends, so here it goes. Owen only knew that Anakin had been a Jedi, but he believed the Empire's official story that Anakin Skywalker was killed in the Jedi Temple, defending the younglings of all things. Considering this propaganda, it's entirely possible that Owen and Beru may have actually maintained Luke's last name in honor of his father, but most importantly, that they saw no danger in maintaining the Skywalker last name, and so they didn't change it. Why Obi-Wan never told Owen the truth about Anakin is anyone's guess at this point, but I imagine it was because if Owen knew what Anakin had become, he may have tried to hide Luke from the Empire himself, and may have taken him to a place Place that even Obi-Wan wouldn't have been able to find. If that had happened, then Luke would probably have been in more danger, since Obi-Wan is a better protector, obviously. Obi-Wan wouldn't have been able to eventually train him, and Luke would have never found R2 and 3PO. And if all of that happened, then Episode 4 would just never have happened in general, and well, a lot of us wouldn't have liked that. In short, Obi-Wan probably meditated on this question quite a bit, and felt that it was the will of the Force for Luke's last name not to be changed. So, he obeyed it, even though he probably didn't know why at the time, but in the end, it all worked out. Now clearly, Luke's last name did not result in his discovery by the Empire, or Darth Vader in general. But why? Most likely because Vader hated Tatooine. Slavery, sand, dead mom, everything he hated was what he associated with the planet. While we know he did return to Tatooine on at least one occasion, if he wasn't looking for a Skywalker, he would have no reason to find Luke. Now in Legends, we have seen artwork and pictures of Vader actually sending troops to burn Owen and Bru Lars for information on where Luke was. But that's of course out of the window now, as you know, canon is all we got. So what do you guys think? Do you think Owen eventually knew about Luke Skywalker's father? That he turned to the dark side and became Darth Vader? Or do you agree with this theory that his name wasn't changed in order to pay homage to Anakin Skywalker? Hope you enjoyed today's video and the theory attached to it. Have an awesome rest of your day. Hit like if you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you. Always.